Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lindsay, and today we're going to do Try Not to Laugh Challenge, but it's going to be Try Not to Laugh at News Bloopers, because I I have a really a, a thing against News Bloopers. I really think they're hilarious and stuff, so let's see how I do. So let's get started. All right. What am I talking about? Good morning, I'm Connor Board with this news and weather update. Some frustration there by passengers. What's the likelihood the, fan, the fog will clear soon? Sean Lowry is here. Tell us a new way. You guys are giving away tickets. So what is this? Um, it's called the Golden Ticket Giveaway. <laughs> I'm just walking in like it was nothing at all. Oh, that was so funny. Okay, you guys, we're going to try to get to the bed. California has been thirsting for water for years in the midst of a historic drought. <laughs> but recent rainfall. <laughs> Reporting live in North York. I'm Natalie Johnson. Back to you. Well, that sucks. I've had that happen to me before. <laughs> Probably not with the with the thing, but the wind. It went so windy here. New York City has had about 1,500 plows out all day on a, a continuous cycle cleaning the roadways. And officials are warning oh, people that if there's no reason to go out, to stay indoors. You already have a set group of schools or teachers that you're working with. We're currently at Omaha Benson, Omaha North, and we have a program that we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted to get this out, obviously. He's We're like, I would be talked to. About STEM here. So then you cause them a problem, and then you come and win the ball behind. He was looking like he was doing the centre back job, but I, I think you're doing too, respect, too much respect by doing that, though. I, by playing that position, I think you're almost saying giving you too much respect. Absolutely, because you're asking for trouble. Stephanie. Excuse me, Easy Mart and its gas station oh, is just here. in front of me. Now, I was we start in Cossey, which today has been described as saturated. Not by rain, but by houses. Thousands have been built here over the... Western fans, it's an easy call when that elbow oh gets... Oh boy, he's back. <laughs> oh jeez, poor kid. God, that kid's very adorable. When Monique Vanderstroom first opened her Waianae dairy farm in 2008, she wanted to sell milk. But all the rules and permitting required to bottle the milk made it difficult for the small farmer to do so. <laughs> community is in danger. And a state trooper is recovering this morning after being hit by a car trying to save someone else's life. This happening in Madbury. Trooper Christopher Prenum, Pre, Pre, Christopher Trooper, I'm sorry, Trooper Christopher Preven, Prevavo is was standing with a man on the side of the road when a car slid on the ice heading straight toward them. If I'm going to do a plyo jump, I don't want to just jump up and down on the box. <laughs> I don't want to well, jump that's, up and that's down me. I'm very, that not very awesome. athletic yeah. like that. Because that's what happens. I, don't, <laughs> I want to make sure that I, and I had you practice this, right? So I want to make sure. Hey, we got three minutes. <laughs> so, so we want to make sure. Yeah, that's how I got me and really my friend happened. would be. Like, when was we laughing the other one? To, to, <laughs> sorry. From start to finish with amazing craftsmanship. <laughs> Yep, that's me, my friend, too. We would just laugh after each other. I bet you they might, they might get a little gassy at times. Don't worry. We'll show you the production not too shop funny. and the finished products, too. I'm talking about delays right now on George 400. And if you don't know, now you know about those. Mark. Yeah, Fred, I know you thought birthdays were the worst days, but I think Thursday might be the worst days out of Forsyth County, Ashley Frasco. Here's Mark Aaron. Mark. Yeah, so far so good this morning, Fred. Yesterday morning, we had B-I-G-G-I-E delays on the west side. How we doing, Mark McKay? Mark, the construction 
Martin. Still north of an hour on 85 South, 316 to the junction. Ashley, 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 these downtown delays keep hypnotizing me. It's now 856. Good morning to you. I'm Fred Blankenship. I'm looking for a smooth commute out there for Cat St. Pompolo and Milk Down Diablos on 285 with delays out there. Mark Aram standing by with triple team traffic. Mark. Unfortunately, Fred, your car cannot go 160 swiftly on the east side perimeter. Big backups, Mark McKay. Köszönöm, a kapustak egy nagyon nehéz helyzete van. Ugye próbálja az a játékos, ugye a kapus zárni, hogy ezt hiszem, hogy látszik azt, hogy nagyon kell figyelni arra, hogy, hogy hogyan fogja tudni ezt megoldani. De hát látszik azt, hogy ugye megijed a, kapu, a játékosunk, pedig rengeteg lehetőség lenne. Lőette volna ide fölfelé, ide is, befelé is, mert volt egy számos szituáció ott volt a markában, és ehelyett mit csinál, hogy látszik azt, hogy ezt a játékos folyamatosan ő próbálja. Miközben ugye látszik a másik emberünk, az ellenfele, egyszerűen ő oda ment. <laughs> All right, guys, okay. I got to end this episode here. I mean, that was really funny. So, see you guys all next time. Bye!